If you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you are unlikely to gain an advantage over them. Being the one with the ability to feel the brunt and burnout in your relationship is a losing game for you. So how can one exactly have the upper hand against a narcissist? If you're interested, I will list down the 5 basic steps one should do to get the upper hand against a narcissist. Journey with me in unraveling the mysteries of dealing with narcissists. Together, let's answer the question, how do you get the upper hand against the narcissist? Number 1. Cut off the supply. For you to stop a fire, you have to cut off fuel. To prevent a car from overheating, you should cut off the engine. If you didn't get the point, I could ramble on about it some more. But if you do, you'll realize that the facts I've stated provide a way for you to outwit a narcissist. To translate it to some that still don't get it, the analogy simply means you must cut off the source feeding the problem. The problem in question is the overbearing narcissists. It might take time before you realize that narcissists don't have any resources that can produce confidence and assert control in their core system. They need an external source to process the demand that their ego and pride live on, which is something they can get from other people. Now, why do you think an opportunist narcissist stays with you? Thinking this way might spark some unwanted thoughts and doubts in your brain. Questioning the narcissist's intentions of speaking to you is a method that secures you from narcissistic abuse. Many narcissists stay with the one that enables them, and most of the time, the other party doesn't know this. And there's a big possibility that you are that other party. But how can an underdog like you get the upper hand against the almighty narcissists? I've said it earlier, cut off the source. Being a narcissist's victim puts you in a situation where they use you in any way possible. If you want to disarm a narcissist, don't let them get their supply from you. Be so discreet in doing so, for narcissists might act out if they notice you are plotting against them. There's nothing good with angering a narcissist right? Number 2. Emotional Detachment Getting the upper hand doesn't come as spontaneous, much more when dealing with vile individuals like narcissists. The basic rule in a match is to study every crevice of your opponent. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of narcissists gives you an advantage when you're up against them. There's no need to guess what they're best at doing, for that is clearly manipulation and lies. Things will get interesting once you discover your opponent's weakness because you will then have a chance to defeat them. Narcissist's weakest point is their emotions, which gives you an advantage in this department. Narcissists cannot understand other people's emotions along with their own. That means you can recognize narcissists' behavior more than they can recognize themselves. Narcissists can't beat you at your own game, like how you can't beat them at their own game. Manipulation with this knowledge, dealing with narcissistic abuse can be flexible on your part. You just have to remember what narcissists have laid on the table for you to strike a deal. And that usually does not involve emotions. Hence, your way of getting the upper hand from them is to get emotionally detached from everything they do. And you do for them. Keep in mind that it is strictly business and no more than that. Narcissists will be confused with you responding this way. And that's when your understanding of emotions comes into play. When narcissists become agitated because they do not receive the reaction they expect from you, they will be loud and angry. Your ability to recognize their emotions serves as your alarm system, which gives you a sign that danger is on its way. The danger in question is the narcissist's unreasonable rage for not getting what they want. Number 3. Do not argue back. Dealing with narcissists will get familiar once you get acquainted with them. When you reach that point, you will realize that dealing with narcissists is just like dealing with a kid. Narcissists will bother you to no end, like how a kid does. The difference is that most narcissists are adults and are way out of the age of throwing a tantrum. But narcissists seem to not have gotten the memo because they will get frustrated when you do not bite their bait to start an argument. This act reflects a kid not getting the attention they want. And we know narcissists will be enthusiastic when given the attention they crave. One of the things you need to consider in getting the upper hand against narcissists 
is treating them like how you treat a child. When they get worked up, you disengage. Do not argue back because it will last longer if you take the bait. Stay still, no matter how they attack you. They will eventually become bored if the narcissists don't get their expected attention. Like a kid, they will move on. But narcissists aren't exactly kids. N narcissists will move on, but will find other victims so they can get the supply they need. Number 4. Invest your energy in your life. Narcissists thrive on the attention and energy you give to them. Having another person consume your energy out of your body is a heavy burden. But it's a burden you can put a stop to if you desperately want to get out of the grasp of a narcissist. I always believe that not engaging in a silly fight to a narcissist is a win. Your ability to discern things worth your attention and the energy play a part in this. Knowing how to choose your battles will give you victory even if you lose. Contrary to popular belief, winning wars isn't as satisfying as fighting battles you fought you couldn't win. But not all wars are worth the effort. Fighting a narcissist, for example. To get the upper hand against narcissists, simply put all your energy into building your own life. Being unbothered gives you a stress-free life away from narcissists. You should only focus on your growth no matter how hard the narcissists try to get your attention. When narcissists don't get the hint that you don't have the desire to interact with them, that's the time you must call the authorities to help you. Number 5. Reach out to professionals. The last move you can take to get the upper hand against a narcissist is to reach out to professionals. That is, you must ask those who can assist you with your current situation with a narcissist. If you are getting abused and maltreated physically, a lawyer and a doctor should be the ones you should reach out to before the abuse gets worse. Suppose narcissists dehumanize you and use derogatory language towards you. In that case, a psychiatrist or support group community can assist you in dealing with mental abuse. Asking for help isn't easy, but it's a necessary act to end the narcissist's abuse of you. That is the firmest upper hand you will ever have had, the narcissist locked up for what they did to you. Narcissists are complex individuals. They can be very stubborn and overbearing, making you believe you can't handle them. But getting emotional will only dig your own grave. You need to approach this logically. Don't let the narcissists get what they want from you, which is your reaction. Appear as unbothered as you can be. I think you can follow the quote, Fake it until you make it in this situation. All my hopes go to you who suffered at the hands of the narcissists. Did you find this video interesting? What do you think? Leave a comment below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Watch this next video right here.